My name is Sarah, and I am part of the Environmental Literacy and Outdoor Education Program of Anne Arundel County Public Schools. There are many things we can do outside besides just enjoying nature. There are so many things to be discovered. Today I'm going to show you how to make a bird feeder. You can hang it in your backyard or off of your porch so you can enjoy birds and other critters from your own home. Here's what you'll need. Bird seed. I'm using sunflower seed, but you can use any kind you would like. Peanut butter, or you could use almond butter. If you have a nut allergy, you can also use Crisco or something else you have around your house. You just need something that's gonna be sticky. A toilet paper roll, or a pine cone like I have here. You can also use something else you have at your house. Get creative. You'll also need a spoon and some scissors. Lastly, you'll need a string to hang up your feeder. I'm using twine. I'm also going to use a paper plate, but you don't have to. It gets a little messy, so you might want to do this outside or over some paper. Okay, let's get started. I went on an adventure into my backyard to find a pine cone. They were everywhere. But if you don't have a pine tree around your house, that's okay. You could find a stick on the ground or use a toilet paper roll instead. Once you pick the object you'll use for the base of your feeder, the first step will be to spread the peanut butter on. You want the whole thing coated with a nice thick layer. This is what your seeds will stick to. Now that we have our peanut butter on, we can add our seeds. I poured mine into my plate, but you can also use your spoon or hand to sprinkle them on. A little bit more messy, but a lot more fun. I'm going to roll my pine cone and tube in the seeds until all the sides are coated. Next, we can add the string. Use the scissors to cut a piece of string. For the toilet paper tube, you can string it through the middle and tie it on top. The pine cone is a bit trickier. Also, try not to get poked. I use two strings to hang mine. One on either side of the pine cone, stringing it through the open scouts. Now it's time to hang up our feeder. I put mine on a tree that hangs near my back porch so I can see the birds from my window. You could hang yours on a tree branch in your yard or a hook from your balcony. If you don't have anywhere to hang it, you can also just set it outside somewhere the birds can find it. Now we wait and we watch. What do you think we'll see at our feeder? There are lots of possibilities. I'll go over some of the things I see most often in my backyard. The Northern Cardinal. You probably have noticed the males before, they are bright red, but the females are actually brown to help better camouflage. The Dark-Eyed Junko. These little birds like to hop along the ground and hang out in large groups. The Carolina Chickadee. They love sunflower seeds and will grab a seed, then fly off to move to a more secluded place to eat it. The House Sparrow. Like their name suggests, these birds like to hang out near houses and in urban areas. There is also the House Finch. They also like to hang out in urban areas. You'll notice these are bigger and have a thicker beak than our House Sparrows. The males also sometimes have yellow, orange, or red on them. They get these colors from the food that they eat. The Tufted Titmouse, one of my favorites. They have a brushy crest, and they sound like they are saying, Peter, 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 whenever they call. The Red-Bellied Woodpecker. They have tongues that are connected to a special bone and muscle that wraps all the way around their skulls. This allows them to stick their tongues out really far whenever they're trying to get food. And, more than likely, you'll end up with some squirrels at your feeder. With their excellent agility and big personalities, they're very entertaining to watch too. Thanks for joining us today, and we'd love to see what you discovered. Comment below with your own pictures or videos of what you found. Look for more of Arlington Echoes Head Outside. Go explore and see you soon.